Hey everyone, welcome to Chase Cutter Tutorials, where we cut right to the chase. So let's do just that. This tutorial is about adding headers in the plugins list here. So say you're playing an instrument, and you're like, oh cool, I want that to show up here and be organized under a heading that I choose. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Hit Options, Manage Plugins. Bring this down, hit the Plugin uh, Info Panel. Find the plugin that you want to organize. I'm just going to do AAPC. If it wasn't right at the top of the list here, I would go to find and type in APC. Okay, when it's selected, I just go over to the category it's in, and it would be blank. And I'm going to put this in a tuned percussion category for all of my steel drum type hand pan things. Once I hit apply changes, it will create that folder if it's not already been created. Okay, doesn't show up though in this list or this one or this one, or this one, or this one, until you hit favorite, or this check mark. See, they both toggle the same thing. And as you also see, over in the plugins what database, um, it's creating that group because it's the only thing in tune percussion. So when I unfavorite it, it means it's gone, and so is the group. Okay, there it is. That's the whole answer, and you are done. Okay, uh, this was the super extreme fast version. Uh, if that's all you needed, go get something done and kick ass, and I'm glad I saved you some time. If you want some more details, watch more, and I will go slower and do the same damn thing. Hey, everyone. Okay, so this is a new channel where I make video tutorials that get right to the point. So we're going to do that. Today, we're going to figure out how to customize these little gray headers. See them up here? So I'm in category view, and I hit add a track. If you're an older version, you'll see insert, replace, and add all give you the same thing. I'm just going to use the plus button. If I'm in category view, it looks like this. If I'm in tree view, it looks like this. So either way, these headers are what we're trying to, uh, to customize today. Okay? A simple view doesn't show them, so I'm not going to be talking about that. All right, so if you want to, I use category view. If you want to customize these, all you got to do, first of all, click this plug-in thing. You're probably here or here. Click this. You don't need this, but this is just to visualize. You're going to see when we change things, you'll see things changing. <laughs> Crazy concept. Hit. Here's the actual thing. <laughs> Let's do it. Options. Manage plugins. Move it here. If you haven't seen this before, go watch a different tutorial video. I'm not going to use the time explaining that. But basically, you hit plus. You find your VST plugin folders. Uh, then you hit scan. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to work with 3x OSC. Everyone has it. I'm going to hit plug in to go to the plugin specific uh, info panel, I guess. There's three main things that kind of dictate everything with each plugin, okay? What we want is to change the category, okay? So I already had something filled in. Don't mind that. It'll be blank on yours, okay? So under 3x OSC, go to that. Let's do this together. This is the name of the category we're going to add it to. In other words, the name of the header that's going to show up here in a second, okay? I hit apply changes to apply the new name, okay? Now, nothing will show up yet. I mean, it's still here, but it's not under a header called basic synth, which is what I named it. Because the trigger that allows it to show up in both this menu and you know this and all the other versions of the same menu is whether or not you favorite it. There's two ways to do that. One is the check mark under the F, which means favorite. And the other one is this. So I'm just going to hit this. And when I do, as I toggle it on and off, you'll see it's creating and then, well, it's, it's showing and then not showing um, the basic synth category, which I'll expand. So there's only one thing in there. That's why it's, it's showing up and then leaving as I toggle this on and off. Okay, so basic synth, woohoo, we have it. It's now here, but this is the point, is that it's also now here. To me, that's what matters the most. When I go to add stuff, if stuff is here. Okay, there, video's over. Now you know how to do it. Uh, that's everything. There would not be any reason for you to stick around to this video other than to hear me rant about why I made this video real quick. If you're ever making a, a video tutorial, don't put any extraneous fucking knowledge before you get to the point of what you're trying to show. Yeah, sure, you can't always get, even in this video, it probably took me, I don't know, three minutes to really get to the meat of what I needed to show 
before pre prefacing it with uh, a bunch of cautionary tales and morals and things like that. I get it. But don't, I, oh my God, I just watched a video of somebody trying to explain how to basically do the same thing. And he spent over, I think, seven and a half minutes just talking about a bunch of preparatory bullshit that doesn't get any action done. Oh my God, if you are making a YouTube tutorial, remember, everyone is an artist and a creator when it comes to all these tutorials or whatever. They're coming to these videos because they're pissed off that they have to. Everyone wants to know everything and be fucking amazing at whatever type of creating they're doing or whatever they're doing. They don't want to have to be slowed down any more than they already begrudgingly have to by coming to your fucking video in the first place, okay? So if you're making one of these, just get to the point. Don't give me a 10-second animated intro that I'm not interested in. Don't preface it by saying, oh, blah, blah, here's what we were doing last week on my fucking channel. Blah, blah. Don't preface it with shit like, oh, let's talk about the history of FL Studio. and Oh, let's talk about why categorizing is important. Oh, let's talk about what it would be like if you lived in an alternate universe and didn't have to categorize things. Jesus Christ, just get to the point. Oh, my God. Okay, so my rant is over. I'll be making more videos like this the next time I've gotten so pissed that no video is out there to fucking intuitively explain how to do something in an efficient and timely manner. And then I will upload that video in the same format. I'm not going to fucking put intros on this. I'm not going to fucking preface anything. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe except at the end of a video. And I'm not going to do stupid rants like this except at the end of the video. Expect everything on this channel to be right to the point, at least at the beginning. And then anyone who wants to stick around to listen to bullshit like this... We'll have fun. We'll have fun. We'll have fun. Only subscribe if you give that kind of a shit. If you don't, then don't subscribe. At least you got what you wanted, and I didn't waste your time at the beginning of the video.